want to clean your surfaces, especially uh, this mating surface between the flange and the housing needs to be especially clean. If any grease is in there or anything, it will allow air to pass through. So make sure those get cleaned pretty well. So our kit's going to include ground seal for your piston, motor gasket, all the seals we just removed. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is replace our spool seals. Now, we, these seals are U-cups, which means there's a, a groove in one side. So, when I say U-cup in, that's the groove inside or out. Okay, so these both, the U-cup will face each other. Just simply snap it in place. Same here, U-cup facing in. We're going to put a small amount of grease on here, just rub it around a little bit. Okay, so now you put both of these slides in. You'll notice there's a groove on the top side for your alignment screw. Face that to the top. You can check your positioning through the hole. Put your alignment screw O ring on. Just put it in hand tight for now. Then push down the spool. Again, make sure there's no grease on the inside here. Put your gasket with the alignment pin hole. Just move that to the side. Rod seals. So, on the housing side, it gets one seal with the U cup facing up. Then a washer. retaining ring. Now take your flange and align it to the pin. box in, tighten down firmly. Okay. On this side, there's a rod seal, the U-cup facing in, white rod bushing, then a rod seal with the U cup facing up. And the retaining ring. From the cylinder oil rings, just put a small amount of grease on to hold them in place. small layer of grease around your cylinder also. Oh, 
the ring on your upper rod pop it and drop it in next comes the spring and your hex retainer Next we're going to install our crown seal first, the O-ring, then the crown seal. And just put one side in and run it around. It should snap right to place. You put a light, light coat of grease on the ends of it only. Make sure not to clog these holes with grease. So the easiest way to put this in is just put it in on a slight angle and push it in on the top. Okay. Okay, so just slip this in gently. Make sure your piston's flat. Okay, again, slightly grease it. Okay, and our bottom, our bottom flange here, first we have a rod bushing and a U-cup seal with the cup facing up into the cylinder uh, spacer and a snap ring. And make sure that snap ring is in place. Turn it over. Install your cylinder bolts. And before you tighten them, put them on. Put it down to a flat surface so that the feet are straight with each other. Tighten it down with a non sixteenth wrench. <laughs> Reinstall your tubing. Okay, so that's a rebuilt 6200 meter.